Hello rugby fans, I'm Dallin Stanford and welcome to Raptors Weekly. In this edition, we'll bring you all the action from Infinity Park, an obvious yellow card, our second Johnny Ryberg special, and a preview of next week's clash with the Utah Warriors. We begin in Glendale, where it was the visiting gold who struck first. Five meters out, they go to the tail. Maul is set, and they drive. Howard joins now at the back. Takes possession, does the hooker. Nola Gold within five minutes looking for their first five. Bodies are over. Try ward it. Boy, what a drive that was. Less than three minutes later, Nola scored again. Howard played a bit of time with Ontario rugby. Even has Dolan, doesn't need him. Goes to the back again. Good clean take as Younger attacks the line. Colvin, quick hands. Tonga in midfield. Oh. Riley was almost after that one. The right wing, Sean Riley just lurking in midfield. Coleman, flat ball, beautiful pass from Maya and Dolan as well. They look to step on the right foot, busting three tackles. Still going, unbelievable stuff! Oh. Nola goal. That is absolutely glorious. Get the party started. The Raptors' first try came from their number nine. Around about the 22, the Raptors forwards looping around as Nola Gold tried to disrupt this and they have a penalty advantage. Does Nick Boyer on his side? Boyer, but it's gap for Boyer, goes through. Nick Boyer, he's underneath the sticks. He's frozen defenders like Elsa the Snow Queen. Excellent play by the Colorado Raptors there. Good patience in that driving mall. That created that penalty. And Nick, Nick Boyer, as we've seen throughout his career, take that quick tap penalty. He knew he had the advantage, and then he just spotted that gap. He used the referee a little bit and able to shoot that gap to make it 14-5 in favor of Nola. Nice little dummy sell by the scrum half, though. Nola's third came right off to halftime. Thompson, quick ball, finds Matt Harmon. Harmon looking the inside, Dominguez upended. One of the hits of the day. Chad Goff gets his shoulders working here in the second 40. It's ferocious at the break, and as Money Tongawea goes there, unafraid to get that hair dirty. Quick hands, Moppin again, there's space here for Moppin. Moppin opens up, gets the ball away to Mayer. He's over. Touches down for Nola Goal, and they sting the Raptors here in the second half. Mayer's bonus point effort widened the Gold's lead. Oh. Howard to Thompson at the back, still going strong with 38 years old. Dominguez off the left wing. Coleman keeps it in hand. Moppin with a beautiful offload and pick up. Mayer again in space. Oh. Stretches the legs. Mayer's going in the corner. This guy. What's the secret? Is it spinach? Ryberg got the Raptors' next five points. Hands in the pockets to keep keep warm. Cam Sullivan, Falcon, 26-year-old, local man from New Orleans, gets pinched at the lineup. De Nason goes back to Sneaky Malifa. They've got Luke White. Early dish to London. He's met with heavy contact. Denison picks and goes the short side. It's clever stuff. Ryberg! Ryberg on the outside! It's an armored truck! But one that has a jump in the back. Ryberg gets on the scoreboard. Raptors come alive! Really important kick here for Quinlan. Trying to make it a seven-point game. Tomas Quinlan with a left boot. Wonderful strike oh. in the 27-20. It was worth the wait. Ten minutes to go. Raptor Nation back in this game. The Raptors threatened as time wound down. 
Denison working left, working right. Finau with Cook. It's absolute fire from the replacement players. Is this ball available? The ball's right here. Denison wants, he goes, switches to the left. It's the old one, two, one, two. Tonga Weehan, Thompson come flying in. The Raptor squirts underneath. 45 seconds left, Malifa with a dummy, Malifa the delayed ball. Chad Landon is in, four passes the call. Oh, no. no way, Santa fans. Oh my. How? He was going forward. Oh he no. How heartbreaking is this? This week in Downing Explains, we examine what happens when you commit a cynical infringement right in front of the referee. With the Raptors looking to go quick after a NOLA penalty, the gold scrum off tried to slow down his opposite number while still on the ground. 16 minutes to go. Dominguez receives this one. Got attention from London. Lips it free. Cook has it. Cruze gets the bump on. Mika Cruze puts the lamb chops down of the vampire. Illegal steal there from Dominguez. And hold on, uh -oh. there's a chat here from Lex Weiner. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I think that holding younger, yeah, I think he interfered there with that quick tap penalty. No, no, no. So they're clearly trying to go quick. He's on the ground, it's knocked out of his hand. I'm sure he's getting up. Oh, the vampire sunk his teeth into that one. He's off, he goes. Get the coffin ready for 10 minutes. Oh, man. Yeah, it could be a costly error there. Good quick tap penalty by the Glendale Raptors. There you see it right here. Here's the quick tap. Watch Youngert on the floor. Just interferes with that tap. Steve, grab the front, please. Okay, there's, there's, okay now they gather for the quick tap. Watch Youngert. Just tips it out of the hand. Referee Lex Weiner saw exactly what happened, wasn't buying any excuses, and immediately went to his pocket. The lesson here is that whenever you illegally intentionally slow a player down, especially so close to the trial line, there will be consequences. The Raptors try of the week featured a fantastic burst by Johnny Ryberg, but it was the equally stellar good work by Carla Denison that set him free down the touchline. Cam Sullivan, Falcon, 26 year old, local man from New Orleans, gets pinched at the lineup. Denison goes back to Sneaky Malifa. They've got Luke White. Early dish to London. He's met with heavy contact. Denison picks and goes a short side. It's clever stuff. Ryberg! Ryberg on the outside! It's an armored truck! But one that has a jump in the back. Ryberg gets on the scoreboard. Raptors come alive! Did he get close enough to the goalposts? It's an all-important conversion attempt. Johnny Ryberg, the good play on the outside. Chad London did a really good job. Denasian, Denasian finished it up perfectly. The two-on-one, that's how you execute a two-on-one. Carlos saw the space, committed the defender, and sent Ryberg all the way to the try zone. just solid vision and overall quickness from the scrum off to deliver the perfect ball to his high-flying winger. The only way to stay fully informed about the men in blue is to regularly peruse their Facebook and Instagram pages at Colorado Raptors Rugby, frequently scan their Twitter feed at CO Raptors Rugby, and routinely scope out their YouTube channel at Colorado Raptors. The Colorado Raptors will host their Rocky Mountain rivals, the Utah Warriors, at Infinity Park on February 29th at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. In 2019, the Raptors scored four second half tries for an amazing comeback draw at Zions Bank Stadium. They beat the Warriors in a try fest in week 15 at Infinity Park. Buy your tickets now at coloradoraptors.com as we spend February 29th leaping back to the 80s with your very own neon LED Raptors bracelet. And if you can't make it to Glendale, you can stream the match live from wherever you are. That's all for this presentation of Raptors Weekly. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week with complete coverage from Rugby Town, USA. The boy goes through!